Hello and welcome to Matt Parker's Maths Puzzles. I'm Matt Parker and the Maths Puzzle this time is that you want to arrange n counters on an n by n grid. So here we have a 3 by 3 grid which means that you want to arrange three counters on that grid however you want all the distances between the counters to be different. They all have to be unique, which doesn't work like this, because while that top distance is different to the diagonal distance, you could say they're one and root two, but that's pretty much irrelevant. If you look at these two distances, they're the same. If we move one counter, however, there, that works. Three counters on a three by three grid, and they are all unique distances apart. If you exclude rotations and reflections of the entire grid, there are actually five unique ways that you can solve this problem for the case of three counters on a three by three grid. I recommend that as a nice starting point. You can then start to look at bigger and bigger grids until eventually you get all the way up to a six by six grid. And this but this is where it gets really interesting. There, there's, there's a step change, let's say. I don't want to spoiler it because this is what you're going to be working on if you wish to partake in Matt Parker's Maths Puzzles. The submittable part of this puzzle is can you find a way to arrange six counters on a six by six grid such that all of the distances are unique? And why do you want to do that, you may ask? Um, I don't know. Why do you? You're the one who wants to do it. That's part of the puzzle. You want to arrange these. You tell me why. I don't know, maybe you're planning where some towns are going to go and you want all the roads to be uniquely identifiable by their length. Or maybe you're designing a circuit board and while you have got every conceivable length of wire, you've only got one of each. I don't know. You come up with your own reason. You could just be really into unique distancing. And distancing is all the rage at the moment. Why not have some fun with it? So go on to the Think Mass website. You can submit your solution for this right up until the end of the next Tuesday that we're going to come across and we will announce who got it correct who got how many points, speed and everything else at the end of next week. And there's no tricky business. It's just a very straightforward puzzle. Arrange the counters, make sure they're all different. There's no like negative counters. You don't stack them in an extra dimension. You don't put them on top of, I, there's nothing. Everyone complained last time, well, not everyone, a few people complained last time that there were secret bonus points for using negative numbers, which I slightly hinted at, but gave you no real clue you had to do that. Not this time. You go on the form, Oliver has set up a fantastic uh, form, you just click the ones that you want and then you submit it. That's it. And then Oliver, Deanna and myself will go through and we'll pick out some of our favourite bits of extra maths that people send us. So if you want to go above six, because there are solutions all the way up to six, there's a non-zero number of solutions for cases bigger than six. So for an open problem, what else can you do with this? Explore the puzzle, see what happens. If you email Matt plus puzzles and you have to use that exact email address, then I'll have a look and we'll go through all the extra interesting bits of either interesting solutions or bits of math that you've found or nice ways to visualize and represent what's going on in this, the unique distancing problem. Good luck.